Hi, I'm Madhuri Peri from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to show you how containers are a natural fit for Amazon EC2 spot instances. Let's level set on two concepts I'll be covering in this video. What are spot instances? Spot instances are spare compute capacity in the AWS cloud available to you at steep discounts compared to on-demand prices. The only difference between on-demand instances and spot instances is that spot instances can be interrupted with two minutes of notification when on-demand needs capacity back. Amazon ECS service enables you to deploy, manage, and run container workloads. An ECS cluster has a set of EC2 instances where containers are run by service scheduler. The service scheduler component of ECS ensures that desired number of containers are scheduled and available on the container instances in the cluster. This component replaces any interrupted containers. Now, let me demonstrate how EC2 Spot and ECS can work together and how ECS Service Scheduler manages interruptions. Let's begin by creating an ECS service that has containers scheduled across separate instances. We will then proceed to terminate one of the EC2 Spot instances by triggering a mock interruption and see how Service Scheduler handles interruptions smoothly. Let's get started. Let me show you how to launch the ECS cluster that is powered by EC2 Spot instances. To set up ECS cluster in your AWS account, you will begin by signing in to the AWS Management Console with your username and password. Go to the ECS Console by choosing Elastic Container Service under Compute. Click on Create Cluster button. For this video, we will select the EC2 Linux and plus networking mode. This mode will launch a cluster template that will create the ECS cluster for you along with VPC, subnets, and auto-scaling group with Linux AMI. Enter the cluster name as Spot ECS Cluster Demo. And under the provisioning model, select Spot. Choose an instance type from dropdown and enter number of instances as three. Leave other values as default and choose a key pair that you would want to use to connect to the EC2 instances with. For purposes of this walkthrough, you can leave all VPC fields as default, which will create a brand new VPC with subnets for your cluster. You could alternatively select a VPC that has been provisioned prior. Select the container instance IAM role. This is used by container agents on the EC2 instances to make Amazon ECS API actions on your behalf. Select the Spot Fleet IAM role. This is used by Amazon ECS to create Spot Fleet requests on your behalf. Click Create. Now you can see the ECS cluster creation process. When this completes, you can see the Spot Fleet request ID in the Resources tab of the cloud formation. Copy this and navigate to the dashboard. In the left-hand bar, click on the Spot request. Let's paste the SFR ID that we just copied. As we see in the Instances tab here, these are the EC2 Spot instances that are part of ECS cluster now. Notice how each of these instances has a request ID, and that is the SIR ID, short for Spot Instance Request ID. You can also see here that the number of instances specified in ECS cluster screen are the ones that we see as target capacity. Let's head back over to the Elastic Container Service ECS screen and see our cluster that we just created. Let's schedule a service using a sample task definition. Now see that the containers are running on each of the EC2 instances. To create a service, click on Configure Service and select the launch type as EC2. I'm choosing a task definition here called Console Sample App, which runs on port 80. Click Next Step. In the load balancing section, choose None, leave the rest of settings as is. Review details and click Create Service. Notice how the tasks are being placed by Service Scheduler. You notice here that each of these two copies of the task is being placed on separate container instance. Let's find the Spot Fleet ID that created these two instances by navigating to the CloudFormation template that was generated to create the ECS cluster. 
In the Resources tab, notice this ECS spot fleet and copy it. Let me navigate here to the EC2 dashboard and click on the spot request link in left hand bar. Now let's trigger an interruption to see what happens by reducing the target capacity by one. The ECS service scheduler component has been configured to run two copies of tasks. As one of them is lost because of instance interruption, you will notice that it will replace this lost container on the EC2 instance by adding one more on an existing instance. Let's proceed to the Tasks tab and watch what is happening. While the instance is terminating, you notice that the ECS Instances tab in the cluster shows a status of draining. Service tasks on the container instance that are in pending state are stopped immediately. Now, notice in the console that the EC2 instance that was terminated is no longer visible and also notice that the service shows two running tasks. This shows how seamlessly ECS Service Scheduler was able to handle the EC2 spot instance interruption. In this video, I have shown you how you can use EC2 Spot for hosting container workloads on AWS. I've also demonstrated how ECS Service Scheduler handles and ensures that the desired container tasks are running even if any interruptions occur. To learn more about EC2 Spot, visit the URL at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.